Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi, Faculty Psychiatry and with, with me is Dr. Rohit. So Dr. Rohit got a beautiful rank of 745 in the INICT examination. So Rohit, 768, sorry. So first of all, many congratulations, Rohit. Thank you, sir. And it's an honor to have, you know, a conversation with you. Thank you for having me, sir. The pleasure is all mine, dear. So Dr. Rohit, again, uh, the same thing in all the interviews, you got a, you were at a rank 30,000 uh, in the NEET examination. And from there, you jumped to a rank of 768 in the NICT examination. Yes. So this is what I have been discussing with the students that the, the progression does not happen in a linear way. It happens yes. in a geometric way. I mean, you, you suddenly jump from five or six digit to two or three digit ranks. So the same has happened with you also. Yes, sir. So, Rohit, we were discussing about uh, uh, your journey before we started uh, the interview. We were having a chit chat and you told me that how the live lectures kind of help you, uh, uh, you know, structure a preparation and follow a discipline. So, can you share more about uh, how did that happen? When you do, did you start the live lectures and uh, how, how, how was it different from, you know, uh, seeing the recorded videos? So, tell us all about your journey. Sure, sir. So, sir, I, after I completed my MBBS from Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College. Mm -hmm. In this year, I completed my internship in May. Mm -hmm. And uh, after giving May INICT, I returned home. And mm -hmm. then I started my preparation in June, like yeah. mainly from cerebellum only. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, like uh, watching, you know, recorded videos, mm -hmm. kind of a brings of mon monotony in your Not schedule. Either. It's very difficult to follow a disciplined mm -hmm. schedule while following recorded lectures. Mm -hmm. But then after one month, uh, Cerebellum introduced live sessions, mission need PG. Mm. So after that, on 2nd July, when those classes were starting, what I decided was that I will follow those mission need PG live classes because those classes will bring a kind of, you know, structured schedule and discipline in my preparation. Mm. And then in, because those classes were mainly in the evening for four to mm. five hours mm. and morning sessions, what I did in morning sessions was I tried to utilize uh, according to my way that. Mm -hmm. uh, I will complete some other subjects or short subjects or revise mm -hmm. some other subjects. And in mm -hmm. evening, uh, when my energy is low, mm -hmm. then I'll passively, you know, uh, join uh -huh. mission need PG classes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. make notes according to that. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, side by side, complete those subjects as well. So uh, that was basically a game changer in my preparation because mm -hmm. it didn't only help me to structure and bring discipline in my preparation, but it also helped me, me to complete all my subjects mm -hmm. in which I in which I was weak and mm -hmm. you know helped me complete PYQs and PYT side by side. Got it. So so a very interesting point you made that in the morning hours you study on your own and in the yeah. evening hours and night when the energy tends to go down. Yeah. You yeah. use the live lectures to keep th those hours productive also. Uh -huh. Yes sir. Yes sir. And uh, you also attended Marathon INI City before the INI examination. So how did that go? Yes, sir. So once the NEET PG classes were over, uh, Cerebellum that introduced Marathon INICT, mm -hmm. which focused specifically on INICT topics. Mm -hmm. So what I decided, because INICT focuses more on uh, recent updates, mm -hmm. newer drugs, mm -hmm. and, you know, some specific scores and all those topics. So I made sure that I mm -hmm. attend all those classes to have a grip on specific INICT topics so that I don't miss on any of them in the exam. So, and those seven days, uh, mm -hmm. seven to eight days it helped me to revise all entire 19 subjects all together mm -hmm. and you know some volatile topics that remained afresh in my mind during exam so it kind of helped me to revise all together 19 subjects and you also use btr ends you are telling me yes sir yes sir so what i did like uh meanwhile following mission need pg classes and i uh zainab uh, dr zainab ma'am took uh, BTR TND sessions, TND mm -hmm. sessions. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, she made sure that uh, those those sessions were exceptionally well because uh, those were, I, I think, according to USMLE pattern, like mm -hmm. those long questions, she made sure that we, uh, like, uh, we don't have a fear of uh, those long, long stem questions. And, uh, you know, we are inclined towards that. So mm -hmm. I made sure that I attended those END sessions so mm -hmm. that I can have a grip on those clinical stem questions, which I usually fear. So mm -hmm. I uh, I attended those sessions. I and BTR, you know, wholesome gives you a integrated passion of revising all nineteen subjects in a very short span of time. Mm -hmm. So I tried to incline all those uh, mission need PG classes and BTR videos side by side, so that right. I don't miss on those. Right, that, that's wonderful. So uh, what about QBank? Well, did you give enough time to QBank, or you focus mostly on PYQs? 
Yes, sir. So, sir, my strategy was first to complete PYQs. Then, yes. based on that, I, you know, once I do PYQs, I got to know what are the most important repeatedly asked topics. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I did that, I got to know, okay, these are my weak topics. In these topics, I need more focus. So, what I did was I went back onto my notes. I, re I revised those topics. And then, only for those weak specific topics, I utilized the QBank because uh, keeping time in mind i only mm -hmm. for specific topics i utilize the q bank so that uh, i can have a good grip on those topics as well so you kind of uh, went retrospective on the q bank retro yeah. approach yes sir finding yes, out sir. the yes, topics sir. and then went that, uh, that yes, makes of sense what about grand test sir for gts uh, i think uh, i started my preparation in june and mm -hmm. uh, my first gt what i gave like zainab i'm told to give mm -hmm. first gt on 15th august so mm -hmm. following her I gave my first GT on 15th August to get a baseline, uh, you know, score. Although I, I was not able to complete my first GT till then, but mm -hmm. I gave those GTs. Then uh, whatever she told uh, on, on her schedule, I religiously followed her. Mm -hmm. I tried to give uh, like GTs every two weeks or every three weeks mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, try to see what are my weak subjects, what are my strong subjects. And based on that, I, you know, when I move on to the next cycle, I made sure that Okay, those, those topics, I don't repeat the same kind of mistakes and uh, silly mistakes or recall, whatever those were. I made sure that I don't do those mistakes again. So, uh, if I'm understanding it correct, Dr. Rohit, uh, basically getting a structured approach, following a schedule, doing things as being told, all yes, of that sir. kind of help you to finally put everything together in the, in the last yes, couple sir. of months. Yes, and uh, probably that is what is more important. I mean, you can study for one year, one and a half year, but if you cannot consolidate yes. everything in the last three, four months, uh, getting a good rank would be difficult. Sir, so that, that's correct, sir, because I think it's too much information out there. Yeah. But uh, it's very important, you know, to make your content that that much possible so that we can revise in it in mm. last 10 days. Mm. Because I think that's what is important. If we are able to revise that content in 10 days, I think that, mm. that uh, will uh, surely get a rank, sir. Great. Uh, so, uh, what's next? You are you are thinking of studying side by side while waiting for the counseling? Yes, sir. So, sir, what I have decided is because again, uh, need PG revision classes have already started in Cerebellum. Mm -hmm. So, from today itself. So, mm -hmm. what I have decided is like uh, rather than waiting for the counseling, like because counseling will take time, I think. So, mm -hmm. I I have started for uh, attending you know revision classes from today, and meanwhile I'll be waiting for INICT counseling also to begin. And then I'll wait. I'll see where it takes. Okay, it takes. Any any last advice for the juniors? So say say somebody got thirty thousand rank in this INICT. That person must be quite uh, you know sad, quite quite uh, uh, full of self doubts. So so what what advice would you want to give to your juniors? Uh, I I would only like to say that if I can do, anyone can do, and it's mm -hmm. always possible. You know, okay, if there are times when you get a bad rank, then mm -hmm. we should take a day or off mm. and then start again because mm. it's always possible it's mm. just that we have to follow a disciplined uh, schedule and structure mm. and it's very important to believe on that process mm. believe on what you're doing mm. and just just don't give up just don't give up and every day you know just uh, try to explain yourself one more day one more day and then finally i think anyone can achieve sir it's like that well said. One day at a time and take the preparation yes, for the last day. Uh, because like I still remember uh, Dr. Zainab ma'am uh, saying that she takes take baby steps, take mm -hmm. one step at a time and take that day in your mind. Follow that day and just do those things and then everything will fall in place eventually, sir. Wonderfully said. Great. Thanks a lot, Dr. Rohit and uh, my best wishes for your future journey. I, I hope you get Thank a great you so much, in the NICT. But if not, I am I'm sure we'll be interviewing you again. This time with yes, a two PG rank in eight PG. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And I would also like to extend my gratitude to all cerebellum faculties, Dr. Zainab, ma'am, Dr. Dilip, sir, everyone. Mm. Everyone, you know, like because of your teacher's guidance only, mm. things are possible. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.